Recordbox for a large part is free to use, but not everything in the software is free. So let me go over some of those features. As you might know, Recordbox has a couple of different modes that you can find here on the top left of the screen. We have the export mode, performance mode, lighting mode and edit mode. Two of these modes you can't even use without a subscription and the first one is the edit mode. While you can technically edit a song, you can't save it to your library, so it makes no sense to do so. And uh, by the way, the editing capabilities are so limited that I don't even know why you would even use it instead of using, for example, a DAW, D-A-W. Then the second option over here is the lighting mode. And in the lighting mode, you can control light fixtures in a venue, for example, uh, that you can only use with a subscription. Then we have the performance mode and a big part of the, of the performance mode you can use. So you can perform a DJ gig with that. So you can mix tracks from one deck to the other. That's no problem. And then the first mode over here is the export mode. And also the export mode is in large part free because the export mode is mainly targeted towards organizing your library and exporting songs to your USB drive. And that is all free. But where the limitations are uh, is mainly in, for example, when I import a couple of tracks, then it asks me, what do I want to analyze? And one of those things you can analyze is the vocal. And you can see over here, it has a lock. And now I'm in the trial version and in the trial version, I have all those features. But when the trial expires, I don't anymore. So when I click OK now, and those tracks are uh, imported now. You don't see that vocal here, but when I go to the performance mode, then I can use the stems. And when I have a track over here, let me take a track that has some vocals in it. Regretfully, I can't let you hear this because of copyright reasons and uh, I'll get a strike from YouTube. But uh, what you can do with stems is uh, filter out the drums, for example, the vocal and the instrument. Uh, but you can't do that for a vocal uh, with a non-subscription. Then over here you see the collection and in the collection you see also here there are some logs. And you are able to look at the collection here all uh, and here by date edit. And then you can see over here, I added these uh, today for this uh, for this demo. Uh, and the same for genre. Yeah, is it really useful? In my opinion, not so much. But yeah, that is locked out. This whole feature that you have this organized in this way is uh, locked behind a paywall. But when I go to the playlists, uh, yeah, that uh, uh, that is all there and you can still create playlists and uh, create new uh, intelligent playlists, new folders. That's no problem. What is also locked behind the paywall is the queue analysis. You can uh, let Recordbox automatically recognize the queues, the queue points when you import a track. Uh, th that's a really useful feature. And one of the few features in my opinion that is actually really useful, uh, but you can only do that with a subscription. So let me show you what it does. And uh, like you can see over here, <laughs> There are so many bugs in Recordbox, it doesn't even work, yeah, even when you have the uh, the subscription. Over here you see a column view, and when you click on column view, you see the view that is also on your CDJ. Uh, so when I click on a folder, for example, then it displays the contents of that folder. <sighs> Do you really need it? No. It is kind of fun to have the same kind of view than on the CDJ, but um, yeah, the normal view, the tree view, that's the old view that we always had. Uh, that's still free, luckily. The track suggestion feature is luckily free, so it looks in your collection automatically for uh, matches. Things that are behind the paywall, but not necessarily the paywall of Recordbox itself is, uh, for example, uh, SoundCloud. So you're able to use tracks from SoundCloud. Uh, Beatport, you always need to have a subscription for that, uh, also with Beat Source and Tidal. When I go to the export mode, 
Then over here, you uh, can select how many players that you want. You can have the one player mode and the two player mode. That was always there. Um, but since Recordbox 7, there is the dual player mode. And the dual player mode is basically the two player mode, only the tracks are glued together. I'm just picking two tracks that aren't even compatible with each other. But um, uh, just to let you see what it does, when I click on play, uh, both tracks start playing. Why doesn't it work? Oh, yeah, I need to uh, enable this feature. Uh, and then you can see when I grab one of those tracks, uh, you can see that those are glued together. And when they have the same tempo, uh, then you're able to to hear how compatible those tracks are. Uh, yeah, you can you can drag those tracks forwards. Uh, yeah, is it a handy feature? Yeah, sure. But uh, do you really need it? No, not not necessarily. Another feature that is hidden behind the paywall is recording your mixes. So when you are uh, mixing two tracks together, for example, um, and you want to record that then you need to enable the uh, recording panel. And the recording panel is over here. And now I'm able to uh, record my tracks and my mixes. And I'm able to do that because I'm in the in the trial version. Um, but like you can see over here, it also is locked down behind a lock. So I can only record my mixes with a subscription. Another feature that I can't show you regretfully because I don't have it is DVS. Uh, so that's digital vinyl. Uh, there are records out there with only ones and zeros on them without music, but you're able to use them and scratch with them, for example, like you normally would vinyl, but it is coupled to a track here in, in Recordbox, and you can only do that with a subscription and not with a free version. When you want to use videos in your set, so use them as visuals in your set, so showing a clip, for example, of a certain track uh, on a Beamer uh, in a venue, for example, um, you can't do that with the free version. And some additional limitations is, yeah, you, you can technically load audio samples that are uh, saved in the uh, in the sampler. You're able to to scratch them in uh, in the version with a subscription. Again, do you need it? No, not necessarily. And with the stems feature, you are also able to uh, replace drum parts of a track. You can only, only do that in the paid version of the software. If you have a MIDI controller, you can map the buttons of a MIDI controller to certain functions in Recordbox, for example, EQs, effect, filters, etc. Uh, you can't do that in the free version. In the free version, you're also able to store your tracks in the cloud. Uh, standard, you can uh, store up to one terabyte, but with a more advanced subscription, you're able to store even five terabytes of uh, songs in the cloud. If you want to know how to use Recordbox for free, then uh, I advise you to watch this video here on the screen. I'll explain how I did that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.